five and three it is. So it's a five and three, and we're just consolidating the focus targeting. Just gonna push through here. So it's opened up his queen side like a crazy man. Let's go here. And let's develop and get some castling done. Head of the snake always kind of falls a bit early. Um, we've got enough pieces there to protect, so I don't think he's going to take. I think he's just going to drop down here and lock down. So let's just bring the bishop out whilst everything gets locked down. Oh, doesn't get locked down. Interesting times. Let's. Um, so he's got like two pieces on there at the minute. We've got two pieces defending, so let's castle. So in the quick, in the faster games, it is more difficult because you, you shorten your calculation. You see a type of target, but then you don't really put too much weight into um, calculating properly as to whether or not it is a proper true target that you should be focused on. The good players obviously do slow their brain down somehow and basically choose in their eyes the better move based on the fact that well they know that the target is there they don't know how to get there really but they just move their pieces towards that target area and um, slowly or maybe quickly and they just take it from there so it's kind of like a knee-jerk reaction it's not proper full-on calculation i'm going to bring bishop through here too busy talking x ray through to the queen. So my focal point, um, the big focal point, is trying to get rid of this pawn. It's, it's something. Um, it's a little idea I had in my head. And I think we're going to go like this to see if we can get it, in, if he falls asleep. The bishop goes back. No, it doesn't go back. The knight moves, so the queen is defending. Going to take the bishop off the board for its insolence and then take the knight off the board. So, my whole focal point about going for this pawn has caused some devastation, and now the pawn has released itself. Now we can start pushing. Obviously, it's got no support on it, the rook's just going to come here to give it some devastation. While it's doing that, we'll just take this pawn here. The rook's going to take because it's going to be on the queen, which makes sense. Oh, he's not doing that. Okay. Well, in essence, let's go here. Rook still takes now because he's on the queen, like we said. Let's go here. Potential for a doubling up. That's the square that that pawn what we didn't want on. And it's now it's now gone. It's been obliterated. Yeah. So I'm going to take here with a check on their king. Yes, there is a mate threat, but I'm thinking maybe the bishop can block it a little bit. So I think it's quite apt that we're in this position and the rook is in the position where we king's escaping. Not so much because we've got another check. I think he's still going to run. He don't want his queen moving from here, so we can just defend if we need to. Or we could go for a draw with a repetition. Uh, let's shall we just do this? Yeah, because the chomping at the bit to do that. So currently plus five at the moment. They have a devastation of potential. I think this pawn is going to be... Ooh, I thought they would. So he's stopping off any potential ch checks here. So if we... Ooh, he's also got that ante as well. So if his rook takes my bishop, I can't take back because his queen is in that position. So I may as well look to get his queen off the board. Sure, that's appropriate targeting. He was just squishing me all over the place, wasn't he? Look at all that there. Bam, queen, rook doing its bit. 
all focused on our king here. That's the that's the answer. Opponent used it well. So what's the deal? Does he exchange or does he try and run and do something else fancy? Probably bring the queen here again, try to doubly attack or something or the other. They're taking the time. Time's running out. Oh, it's a three second increment. Sorry, it's not a five zero. So we have to find the better positions as they're jumping around. Is he looking to get some pawns off or something? Bring the queen down here. We're looking to get our rook here, get some checks on the king. It looks like we've we've circumvented all their attempts, so they don't know what to do now, which is a sh Oh, and they're leaving the game as well. The opponent left the game. So all the queen attack that they had seemed to fall to the wayside. But for me, I'm really, I'm claiming victory on that one, because that was a nice game.